Sean Ray here for Generation Iron. We are counting down to the 30th anniversary of the Arnold Classic by taking a look back at some of our notable champions and why not start with the winningest Arnold Classic champion in Columbus, Ohio of all time. As a matter of fact, he's the winningest Arnold Classic champion worldwide. The new all-time Arnold Classic record holder with five wins, Dexter Jackson. Dexter the Blade Jackson has won more professional contests than any other bodybuilder in the history of the sport. It all started back in, with his first Olympia appearance in 1999, but Dexter Jackson would go on to eclipse the Arnold Classic champion Flex Wheeler, who had four, by winning his fifth Arnold Classic title only two years ago and is now throwing his name into the hat to try to win number six in Columbus, Ohio. Now Dexter Jackson's won the Arnold Classic over in South Africa. He's won the Arnold Classic over in Europe. Even at the age of 49, Dexter Jackson was only third place in this past year's Mr. Olympia Championships. Dexter Jackson is a real threat to win his sixth Arnold Classic champion title this March. Charles Victor Martinez is your 2007 Arnold Classic champ. He is now the number three rated bodybuilder in the world. Is he going to take another leap at the Olympia? Well, he has the room to do it. I tell you, look at his body, look at his physique. All he has is room for more improvement, and he will get better and better as he trains. Victor Martinez. This guy has had more ups and downs than the Titanic at sea. Victor Martinez would come on to win his pro championship, actually to turn pro in 2003. He would actually win a first runner-up in 2007 to Jay Cutler, a very controversial contest that many people had Victor winning. So what did Victor do? He decided to go all the way over to, uh, to Spain and win the Arnold Classic, the very first one, Arnold Classic Europe, put on by Rafael Santoja, and then also win the Arnold Classic in Columbus, Ohio. Victor Martinez has endured numerous ups and downs and many setbacks. A tragedy at his family with his sister being murdered. He uh, had broke his arm while he was training for competition. Um, he was incarcerated and served some time and had to rebuild his body to come back and wind up winning the Baltimore Pro Championships. Uh, he would win numerous contests throughout his career. But the one that stands out the most is his Arnold Classic Championship. Victor Martinez is doing nothing but winning at life and in bodybuilding by overcoming those setbacks and being an Arnold Classic winner. The Predator, Kai Green, a three-time Columbus, Ohio Arnold Classic champion, a three-time first Olympia runner-up, and he also won the Arnold Classic championships over in Australia. How can we forget over in Brazil? Kai Green has done nothing but rock the foundation of the bodybuilding landscape on one form or another. He's an actor, he's an artist, and he's controversial. By controversial, I mean he won those championships and has chose to walk away from competing in the Mr. Olympia by sitting out his second consecutive Mr. Olympia championship. Kai Green, one of the more popular bodybuilders, winning the Arnold Classic championship multiple times in the past, and we cannot rule out the future. He has not gone on record as saying that he is retired. So there may be more from Kai Green and another Arnold Classic champion in the future if we keep an eye out for Kai Green. He is in the, in the lead. As uh, far as I'm concerned, uh, everybody else is going to have their work cut out for him to catch him at this point. Branch Warren, a former first Olympia runner-up, has won two Arnold Classic titles to his resume. Branch will not be competing in the Arnold Classic Championships this year, or maybe never again. But when he did, Branch Warren would win, and he would win two times there. He was also a Europa Championship winner and a Southwest Championship winner. But one thing's for sure, when Branch Warren did compete, all he did was win. <laughs> Dennis Wolf. Dennis Wolf has been missing in action for the past couple of years, suffered a neck injury, but is now coming back into the 2018 Arnold Classic Championships in Columbus, Ohio, the first week of May. But he's not just coming back, this is a former Arnold Classic winner. Dennis Wolf has been a perennial top five uh, finalist in the Mr. Olympia Championships every year that he's pretty much been in the contest. The question is, after two years off, can Dennis Wolf come back and resemble the same Dennis Wolf 
that was once was. He's going to have some hard competition on that stage. Of course, Cedric McMillan will be there, and Dexter Jackson, and Roly Winkler, um, and, and all the, the top guys at the Arnold Classic. But Dennis Wolf fits nicely into that lineup because he won this contest before and can find his way back to the winner's circle if he does everything the big bad wolf normally does. If he comes back and wins the Arnold Classic Championships, it will be a huge feather in his cap and set the stage for the return to the Mr. Olympia later in the year in Las Vegas. But the one thing we know about Dennis Wolf is he may be down, but he's not out. We'll be looking for a big comeback this March from the big bad wolf, Arnold Classic winner, Dennis Wolf. And the winner is Cedric McMillan. Cedric McMillan, number one, 2017 Arnold Classic. Cedric <laughs> McMillan. Cedric McMillan finally wins the Arnold Classic Championship. Everyone's been waiting for it. This former NPC overall champion has finally arrived. Not only has he arrived, but he's actually defending his title. He held off only a one short year ago, a young, charging, late Dallas McCarver. Cedric McMillan would go on to compete again in the Mr. Olympia. Not fair so well. Seems like September is not the best time of year for him to compete, but March has fastly become a very good time for Cedric McMillan to compete. Arnold Schwarzenegger's on record as saying, this is what a classic physique should look like. Cedric McMillan from head to toe is built like a champion bodybuilder. Defending that title will be nothing short of amazing, but Cedric McMillan seems to be up for the challenge.